What's up, guy and girl players of World of Warcraft? This is Rue Taro, aka Taro, and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily level cooking from 1 to 450. For the free complete guide and many others, go to tarowildguides.com. First, you'll need to talk with any guard in a major city to find a cooking trainer. Then head to the trainer and learn apprentice cooking and the available recipes. Leveling cooking is extremely easy, but on most servers you won't be able to simply power level it from the auction house. In this video I will show you a combination of power leveling the profession from the auction house as well as farming overpriced meat. The first 40 levels of cooking are pretty much freebies. Just buy enough simple flour and mild spices to make spice bread until it grays out at 40. From cooking skill level 40 it's a bit trickier and can be quite expensive buying mats from the auction house. It's a good idea to open up your cooking recipe book and search for meat that will help you skill up. If anything is cheap buy it and use it to skill up. I'm buying some overpriced small eggs to make gingerbread cookies and eggnog. Even though they're overpriced, it's Christmas and I can sell them for a bit more than the mats. Since it won't be Christmas forever, I will post some maps and locations of places to farm meat that will help you skill up easier. After reaching cooking skill level 75, head back to the trainer and learn journeyman cooking and any other available recipes. Once you've gotten the available recipes, head to the auction house and check prices once again. The goal is to minimize farming time by buying cheap mats to level with. Once again though, the auction house is loaded with overpriced meat. For any of you lobbies out there, this can be a great way to make some gold by forcing us 80s to buy your insanely overpriced meat and fish. Since I don't want to waste so much gold leveling cooking, I'm going to head out of town and farm up the mats I need. The best place to farm for mats that are needed and skilling up from 75 to 130 are on the west coast of Ashenville. Before heading there, you want to make sure to pick up a cooked crab claw recipe. I'll show you how to get it on my website. What's really cool about this place is simply by killing one mob, you'll be able to get mats for three different recipes that will skill you up to or even well beyond 130. It should only take 15 to 20 minutes to farm up all the mats you need. Once you hit 130 or higher, head back to the trainer and learn expert cooking as well as any available recipes. While you're in town, check the auction house and see if you can buy any meat for cheap to level up with. If you can't, head straight to Arathi Highlands if you're Horde. For Alliance, you'll need to stop by Stormwind first and buy the curiously tasty omelette recipe from Kendor Kabonka in the Pig and Whistle Tavern. After reaching Arathi Highlands, Horde can buy the recipes from Kina inside the inn at Hammerfall, and Alliance can grab a Roast Raptor recipe from Hamon Harm in Refuge Point. Once you grab the recipes, head out of town and kill all the raptors in the area. Area. They will drop raptor eggs and raptor flesh. Both of these will be used to level up to 225 at least. At 225, pick up as many extra mats as you want and head back to a cooking trainer and learn artisan cooking as well as any available recipes. From 225 to 250, you can either continue making roast raptor or learn something else like the monster omelette and make that instead. I'll list out all the options you have on my website with farm locations. After you get to 250 or more, or are at 225 and have at least 25 giant eggs, head over to Fellwood and purchase either one of the bear meat recipes and monster omelette recipe. Horde can buy them from Bale on the midwest side of Fellwood and Lions can buy them from Maligan in the northeast. Once you've got the recipes, kill any bear within Fellwood and they'll drop bear flanks. You'll need at least 25 to make it to the next step, but I suggest getting as many as you can because the next part can be a little bit more time consuming to get mad. After you get the 275, or even 295 if you kept making the bear recipe until it grayed, Perth or get a port to Dalaran and train master cooking. Next you'll need to cook some fish or do a quest for the only available meat recipe to get to 300. I suggest taking the fish route. The recipes can be bought in Feralis from Shindra Tallgrass and Camp Modashe for Horde or Feather Moon Stronghold from Viviana for Alliance. I'll list out all the different recipes on my website so you can search your auction house beforehand for the raw fish. If you have around 200 fishing and a plus 75 lure, it shouldn't take long to fish up the remaining skill points to get to 300. Of course, if they're on the auction house, you can just buy them instead. After hitting 300 or more, you'll need to get some recipes from Outlands to continue. Before heading there, I suggest you check the auction house and see what meat you can buy to save time with finding recipes all over Outlands. Again, I'll list them all out as well as places to farm for them on my website. I was lucky enough to find some barbed gilled trout on the auction house for cheap. These fish are great because they can be used to make two recipes that will get you to 350. Once you get 350 or more in cooking, head back to Dalaran and learn to be a grandmaster cook as well as any available recipes. This is where the leveling becomes insanely easy. 
Pretty much anything you make from here will be cheap as hell and plentiful when compared to the low level meats. You'll also be able to sell what you make and possibly turn a decent profit. Check out my cooking gold guide for tips on that. Alright, so the easiest way to continue leveling cooking from 350 is by heading to the auction house and searching for each different fish or meat to level up with and see which is the cheapest and will sell the easiest. Basically, stay away from the ones that don't provide a buff like smoked rockfin and such. What you cook from here will turn green at 382, but you'll need to keep making them until you reach 400. At 400, you'll have to buy a cooking recipe from the vendor to level up to 450. Each of these recipes costs 3 Dalaran cooking awards. You can get them from the cooking dailies. They're also awarded for turning in a waterlogged recipe. This can be found in the fishing daily award bag or bought on the auction house. Prices range from server to server, but expect it to cost around 200 gold. Once you gather up 3 Dalaran cooking awards, buy a recipe that will be useful to yourself and make a popular food buff. I'll list out the most popular on my website. To make the best buff foods, you'll need northern spices and on my server they're about a gold apiece, so head to the auction house and pick some up. Finally, finish up leveling to 450. That's pretty much it for leveling cooking. Whatever you don't plan to use, list on the auction house and try to get a little bit of your gold back. It's super fast to level cooking 1 to 450 and if you have easy access to most of the mats, it should only take you a few hours to actually max it out. Well I hope this video was helpful to all the WoW players out there, and for more free guides check out my completely free website at tarowowguides.com. Also be sure to check out my new store that has deals on everything you're looking for this holiday season and beyond. Lastly don't forget to subscribe, just click the subscribe button to the right of the video as I'll be coming out with more videos and detailed guides to help all players have more fun in the world of Warcraft. Thanks for watching. Now go PvP or something. Wait, PvP? Oh never mind, that one's good.